Our next group is We Want a Voice. We Want a Voice is about getting high school students involved in decisions on school policy. Please welcome We Want a Voice. Hi, I'm Jasmine Lomax and I'm representing We Want a Voice and my mentor was Saidita Macri in the back right there. Yeah, okay. All right, the problems I wanted to solve. At my school, I felt as if students didn't care about what happened in the school. They just, it just happened and they just said and complained about it, but didn't really want to take the next step and act, act on their like complaints. Also, I felt as if staff and administration made decisions without students' input. Like, for a couple of examples, all students had to leave the building at four o'clock, which really affected me personally being a um, um, scholar athlete because I had to choose between tutoring and going to basketball practice. Because if I went to tutoring and got it at 4.30, I wasn't allowed back to the gym to actually go to practice. And also, other examples, it puts students at risk and in unsafe environments such as just like, I remember one a specific example when students was kicked out into the rain on a very bad day because it was four o'clock and they had to leave. Also, school, my school environment became less welcoming and the culture changed because my freshman year, I felt as if we was all like best friends and we loved each other. And now it seems like we at each other next completely. And I feel as if it's because of the decision change and the change in environment due to students not having their input. My approach to this problem was to create a student government at my school that would help student voices be heard and would help administration make decisions about what students needed. And so we wanted to help the student and through the student government, we was going to like motivate the student body in, in getting involved in the school as a whole. All right, next slide. What I learned was the need to set reasonable goals because in the beginning, it was four members of my team. Now it's just me. <laughs> so the goals really <laughs> So in the beginning, we wanted to touch every school in CPS system, but being just me, I went for just my school. And <laughs> And I feel as if this really helped because students were able to come together as a whole and actually make decisions in their school. Because at my school, personally, we had a sit-in to protest our, the decisions that was being made. And this really helped me recognize that something as small as the students can come together and make decisions and change what they need to change. All right. I learned to take it slow and complete plans out because when I first started this program, I just wanted to hit the ground running, just go talk to the CPS board and administration, go all the way to the top. But my mentor helped me and she was like, slow down, it's okay. <laughs> Let's start with the principal or something. That's all right. <laughs> I learned how to communicate with the team and also learned what really stops communication with the team because some weeks me and my team would go without talking and that would really stop our process because a lot of our work was individual. So I learned to always keep contact with the team and make smart decisions. And I learned even the smallest efforts can make a great impact because after my three other members left me, I really wanted to quit the group. But through Connie and Myra and my mentor and everyone else at the IIT Born Scholars, they kept me pushing forward and kept me on the right track of creating a student body at my school, which I was able to succeed. And I was elected president of my junior class. <laughs> also vice president of the student body in Ho. And so I was learning, so, Someone as small as me can make a huge impact throughout my school. And so I just want to say special thanks to Connie because if you asked me a week ago, I wouldn't be up here presenting. I didn't want to do it, but Connie talked me into doing it. So I want to say special thanks to Connie and Ross for talking me into doing it. Special thanks for my mentor for keeping me on track, keeping me on the right path of going all the way. 
And special thanks to Myra for all of her work, even though she was kind of tough on me sometimes. <laughs> but at the end, it made my project stronger. So I just want to thank everyone and everyone that supported me.